This is Greg Byam with the Reed Science Group, coming to you live from PitCon 2006 in Orlando, Florida. We're here today with Dr. Michael Schubert, who's Executive Vice President of Bruker Daltonics. Good morning, Dr. Schubert. Yes, hello. I'm nice, nice to be here. Dr. Schubert, if you could please give me an overview of the product's new applications and solutions within life sciences. We have actually the broadest range of mass spectrometers of all the mass spec companies here at Bruker Daltonics. But we are not standing still. We are adding lots of application-oriented solutions to these. And one of the key solutions that we are introducing here is a multi-molecular imager. It is a system, a very easy to use, that allows our customers to run directly the multi from tissues, be it from human tissues, from biopsies, be it from rats, from animal researchers, whatever. Um, it allows to directly image these um, and from the pictures understand what's going on. We can match all these pictures with the optical pictures that have been taken and match them and then work on tumor or in, on any kind of, of disease that makes sense. Last year you focused on clinical biomarker discovery. Tell me a little bit about the successes you had and what your direction will be moving forward. During the last year and the years before we had a lot of interest in that one and lots of people in clinical research actually turned to us and bought our systems and are working with these. It's a completely new uh, market area for us that we are going into and that's very exciting actually. And because of that we are extending that product line here now. One example is the multi-molecular imager that we spoke about a moment ago. Mm -hmm. That is a clinical application obviously because it goes on tissues. Mm -hmm. Another application, a clinical application is the, uh, the multi-biotyper system mm -hmm. that we have on the other side of the booth. Mm -hmm. A system that allows to identify bacteria, microorganisms in a very quick way. You go from the petri dish you grow them on the petri dish, put them into the maldi, run them, run them through the software, and here you go. And in most cases, you identify down to the strain level. Dr. Schubert, what else is going on in maldi? Maldi is a technique with very many applications, and we are continuing all these kinds of applications. One very hot area is LC maldi in these days, which allows for basically a total characterization of a very complicated proteome in a direct LC maldi run. Other applications that we have are, of course, top-down, yeah. Again, the only company that can do top-down in Maldi, and so we are very proud on that. Well, it sounds very exciting. Dr. Schubert, thanks for your time. Thank you for your time. I'm now here with Vic Furzy, Marketing and Sales, Bruker Daltonics. Hello, Vic. How are you doing, Greg? Great, great. Vic, ETD is a hot technology that was recently launched. Tell me a little bit about how that's progressing. Well, ETD is a, a very exciting new fragmentation technology that we've been using uh, for doing LC-MSMS in the proteomics arena. And the big deal is that it uh, helps you localize and preserve uh, post-translational modifications into the mass spectrometer for de detection. Um, we've made good use of this uh, to actually localize phosphorylation sites and glycosylation sites. And uh, the exciting news this year is that we've actually uh, produced some new scan modes called PTM scan, which interleave data-dependent fragmentation from uh, the normal collisional processes and the new electron transfer fragmentation methodology. Uh, this gives us both uh, localization of post-translational modifications, but also allows to just profile for them. Vic, PitCon is obviously a major show. Tell me about additional LCMS applications that you'd like to discuss. Well, we've, uh, these days at Brooker Daltonics got a broad range of LCMS solutions, uh, both for small molecule guys as well as for proteomics. And uh, we're quite excited with our electrospray time of flight, flight product lines, which are uh, ESI TOF and now QQ TOF with the MicroTOF product line. Here we've uh, got some exciting new capabilities such as the AccuScreen exact mass uh, traces, which are uh, applicable in forensics and uh, drug discovery and biomarker applications and including metabolomics. So I think this is a, a hot new area to allow us specific elemental composition determination on the small molecules so that we can understand exactly what the contributions are and whether these are important metabolites or not in those kinds of applications. Victor, thanks very much for your time. Appreciate it. Thanks a lot, Greg. This is Greg Byam with the Reed Science Group, live from PitCon 2006. Thanks for watching.